Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Play episode. As you can see by the title, I will be teaching you guys how to use the command blocks. Now in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get them, how to use them, and the repeat command block. Next time I'll teach you guys about the say command and how to change the time on the command block. And then I have a special one for next, which is actually kind of right here. So, first, how to get the command block. So, you need to go to this and then go slash give and your name, or you can put at. For each one of these, P is probably the best one if you want to give you a command block, but I'm not doing that. So, this is the command block. I just said right here. This is what you look like. Now, how to use command block, you just have to press it and then you're in. And you got the hover notes, which you can set and go, like, make it say something when you go near it. So you're like, hi, I'm a command block. And then it has unconditional and conditional. I don't really know what that means, but just keep it unconditional. Then you have needs redstone and always active. And that's from which it Then you have the command input. If it's too big, then you can press this. And yeah, and then you get the previous output. So that's pretty much how you use command block. And then we have the repeat. Now repeat makes it so it just does it as long as a redstone. So why do I have a shovel in my hand? I have something. Oh yeah, just a little sneak peek. Oh, I'm gonna be showing next with the eggs. Also, I got a fidget spinner because everybody loves fidget spinners. So if I put this lever right on high, it's high the command block, and let's put slash give, and then at, I want to see at E, this is all entities, ooh, I wonder if it gives every single entity the command block, or let's put, let's put, what should I put, let's put dirt. And then, if I flip this, I've been given dirt, and I should be, keep on getting, there you go. <laughs> That's very laggy, I need to stop that. <laughs> okay, it's going to crash again, there. I had to break it, I'm sorry. I didn't like so much, I'm breaking my new lab. Purple block looks visible because. Wait, just, where's the purple block? I don't need the purple block. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of this here. I want purple block. Give me the purple block so I can fix my. <sighs> Give me the purple block. It's, uh, it says it says I have the purple block, but it's not giving it to me. I broke it. Yay! I broke it. No, that's pretty much it. I wonder, but I want to see if it gave all entities. Oh yeah, it won't really work that well because I'm like, I don't. Know. Wait, I, I, it does. I do it to regular zombies, right? <laughs> There's a lot. Of, Cow, did you get it? You're still alive, right? Doesn't look like it. Looks like all entities. Maybe you can give it like a sword or something, and make them hold it. But you. Only need like a regular command block. They that's pretty much it for this episode. We learned how to make command blocks, get command blocks. Pretty much, I guess you can't really make it because it's unmakeable. And how to break your game. Since I have. Also, we learned about the, what's it called? The repeat command blocks. And that's pretty much it. I have a spinning fidget spinner. Why does everything change? So it is the end for this episode. Hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye.